Hey guys and welcome to the Gone To series. So far in the Spring series of tutorials, we went through Spring's introduction, dependency injection concept and configured our Eclipse ID with all necessary jars needed for writing a basic Spring application. This is the basic setup we performed in the earlier tutorial. We first created a project with the name First Spring Project and then added all necessary Spring jars onto its class path. In this tutorial, we'll learn simple steps to create our first Spring application. What we're going to do in this demo is, we'll first write a simple Java class restaurant, which just prints a welcome message on the console. We'll then create a Spring configuration file, which is basically an XML file. Spring framework will read this XML file for managing all Java objects or classes in our Java project. And then we'll write a test class to test the application. Alright, we'll understand more with this demo. Let's first create the restaurant class. Go to the source, new class, give a name restaurant, give a package name org dot go on to series dot spring core. Click on finish. Just to save some time, I already have written this class. Here in the restaurant class, we have just a function greet customer, which prints welcome to a restaurant when called. Now let's write Spring's configuration file. Go to source, right click, choose other, go to XML and then XML file, click next. I'm giving it a name Spring config. You may give it any name which you like. Alright, so this is the file which Eclipse Wizard has created for us. Just to save some time, I have already written this class. Let's go through it. Since we're going to use Spring Framework for creating the restaurant object in our test program, I put an entry of restaurant class over here in the XML file. In Spring's world, every object is called a bean. So do not think bean is something new or entirely a different concept. It is a Spring's way of calling a Java object. So from now on, I may refer any Java object as bean. We have to provide a name to every bean. So I provided here a name restaurant bean. You may give it any name which you like. Now our Spring application is ready. Now we're going to write a test class to test this spring application go to the package new class write a test class test spring project click on finish just to save some time i have already written this class let's understand it step by step this statement is going to find and load spring config.xml file from our project into the application context. Now, what is application context? It's simply an interface provided by Spring people, which simply reads the configuration of your project from XML file and then by calling different methods of it, you access different functionalities provided by Spring framework like dependency injection concept aspect oriented programming, etc, etc. In simple words, without any complexity, this is the basic interface provided to you to access Spring Framework. And that's it. Here we are calling getbin method of application context interface just to request Spring Framework to create and return an object with a bean name restaurant bean. Here Spring Framework will search for this bean in the configuration file and will implicitly create and return an object for the class mentioned with the bean name restaurant bean. And here we are simply calling the greet customer method of restaurant bean or restaurant object to print a welcome note on the console. So everything is set and our application is ready. Let's run the application. Right click here and choose run as Java application. Yes, it has printed welcome to our restaurant. So with this, we have just finished writing our first Spring project. 
In this demo application, we just saw a brief overview of application context. There's one more interface called Bean Factory provided by Spring people for the same purpose. Application context does everything which Bean Factory does and a little more than that. It's like application context can do all tasks which Bean Factory does plus some more tasks. In the current Spring release, Spring has clearly mentioned that it has provided Bean Factory just for the backward compatibility reasons. So unless and until you have a very strong reason to use Bean Factory, you should rely on application context to use Spring Framework. So it's very important to understand and know about application context, Bean Factory, with their differences in a little more depth. I'm going to dedicate a separate tutorial on it so that we can precisely decide upon when to use application context and when to use Bean Factory. In the next tutorial, we'll modify this Spring application to see a demo on how to provide a value for the property which is mentioned in the restaurant class from the Spring configuration file. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.